get rid of golf slice. Have you tried everything to get rid of golf slice and nothing seems to work? Hi, I'm Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. And in this next video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of your golf slice once and for all. I'll see you soon. Okay, first part of getting rid of golf slice is the grip for me. It's really important if you grip the club incorrectly, it's going to increase your chances of slicing the golf ball. So first thing I'd like to see is most golfers that have a slice have a weak grip. And what I mean by that is, if I was to hold the club up like that, hopefully you can see, you can see I've really only got one knuckle showing on my left hand on the grip. This is for a right hander and that promotes a really open club face and it really, really increases your chances of slicing the golf ball. So really important, so that's your weak grip there and the right hand will quite often be too far turned over like this and that really accentuates the club face opening and increases your chances of slicing the ball. So what I'd recommend you do is just strengthening that grip, making it more of a neutral, even a tad stronger if you need to, grip. And what I like to do when you grip that club, obviously in the fingers, I like to make sure I've got at least two knuckles showing on that left hand when I'm sitting down at a dress. So when I hold it up like that, I can see two knuckles. Hopefully you can see that okay. And I have my right hand more sitting a little bit underneath the golf club like so. And that way, when I swing through, it makes it easier for the club face to rotate and a better chance of putting more top spin over the ball, more of a right to left sort of ball flight and helps you get rid of that slice. Okay, let's look at some more great ways we can get rid of golf slice and get you hitting the golf ball much straighter, and much further again. So these work really well. You can practice these at home nice and slowly and deliberately. And I'm really confident if you put these into your game, you'll get rid of that golf slice, no problem. So first thing, Apart from the grip, obviously, what we've been through is your setup. I see so many golfers that slice the golf ball, that set up open of the golf ball, and they continue to set up more open to allow for even more slice. And what I mean by that is, if I'm set up to a ball here, hold their feet, their left foot further back than their right, like this, so the shoulders, you can see here, pointing out to the left. And I'll set up to the golf ball like this, which just accentuates a slice. And the more you set up open, the more your club follows your shoulders and your legs and just cuts across the golf ball. And you'll just slice the ball further and further. So make sure when you set up over the ball, and I've got a, a club down here to get my alignment, make sure your hips and your shoulders are parallel to your target. So my club face is pointing at the target Everything else is square and parallel to it. Really, really important. Don't skip this step. It will make a huge difference in helping you get rid of the golf slice. Now, the next thing, top of the backswing. This is another big key. This made a huge difference in my game. A lot of slices, when they get to the top, their lead wrist like this gets really bowed, really hooked around like this and really points out to the right like so. And what that does is causes the club to come down steep and cut across the golf ball. So they've got their lead wrist, their left wrist, really cupped in this position here. An easy, simple way to fix it is just get a feel for getting a flatter lead wrist. Because when you do that, you can see there my lead wrist is a lot flatter. It makes it much easier to come down on a better line Hit a little bit more inside on the golf ball and hit that golf ball a lot straighter. So getting that lead wrist a lot flatter at the top, that will make a huge difference getting rid of your slice. The next part is, as you go to the top, is getting that club to really just fall in the downswing. Not use your hands and arms to push it out like that, but really just get it to fall. Just let gravity let it fall at the start of the downswing and through to the golf ball like that. That will make a, again, this made a massive difference in my game getting rid of my golf slice and I know it will work for you too. Just letting that club drop more and getting what they call in the slot position. And when you do that, when you shift your weight into that lead side, 
you'll see that club will split that right forearm it'll come more from the inside and that will really help get rid of your slice now the final thing I'm going to show you is to do with the follow-through and you can rehearse this and this makes a big difference this helps you hit a draw as well and what I mean by that is most golfers that slice the ball in their follow-through their club sort of it ends up pointing more out to the right they have more of a a position like this now this is no problem if you're trying to play a deliberate fade or shape one around the trees but if you're someone that's been slicing for years I'm going to show you a thought something you can practice that will really help you out so what I want you to do when you make your rehearsal strings swings try to feel like this club gets more over to the left and a little on an angle like that when you finish because that helps get the club more on a flatter position coming through impact and helps accentuate a draw shape as well so try to feel like I'll do one slow as you come down see how that club is exiting like that out to the left rather than that little subtle difference if you practice that before every shot just in that position there a little bit out to the left don't do anything silly like that just getting that club a little bit flatter on your exit out to the left that will make a huge difference and will help you draw the golf ball which obviously gets rid of your golf slice give all those a try I know that will really help you get rid of your golf slice drop a comment down below if you've tried any of these moves to get rid of your golf slice maybe they haven't worked for you but you've tried something else and that's worked much better for you drop a comment down below I will reply to every single one of you there you have it now you know how to get rid of golf slice now if you have any other questions or comments about this please let me know but very important before you go right above this video here I'll have some additional videos that go into a bit more detail about the backswing and the downswing getting to those right positions so you don't slice the golf ball again make sure you check them out now below the video I'll have a link to my free three secret moves video make sure you get a hold of that again thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time